there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi! I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, evening, overnight, first thing in the morning, whatever it is for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to leave in the comments um, how you are doing today. So as you can see, we have an unboxing in front of us. And this is a very special, special edition, special, special unboxing because I have everything I need to do my very first cross-stitch conversion to a diamond painting. Woo! woo, woo. <laughs> I'm super excited. Um, it has been, you know, months in the making kind of putting all this stuff together, um, but it's finally all here. Um, it doesn't look like a lot, but this is everything we need to complete this project that I've decided to uh, take on. So I feel like cross-stitch conversions are one of those kind of uh, bucket list things when you're a diamond painter to give a try and I'm very excited to give it a shot myself. So we've got a, a two different boxes to unbox here. The first of which on top is going to be our canvas and I believe drills and then underneath it is one of the tools that we'll need to complete this project. So let me go ahead and start with, I'll take them both off, let's start with the thing underneath. So one of the things that is required, or I guess it's not required, but one of the things that can be very helpful from what I what I understand when doing a cross-stitch conversion is having a, an app called Pattern Keeper on hand. And so I guess you upload the PDF of your pattern from sites like um, Heaven and Earth Designs, there's a couple others, and once you upload those into Pattern Keeper, it basically makes a digital version of your pattern. So rather than having to read the paper chart, you can go through on Pattern Keeper and keep track of what goes where and mark them off as you've completed them. So I guess it's just a little bit easier than, than utilizing a paper chart. So in order to do that, because Pattern Keeper is only on Android and I only have an iPad, I had to get myself a little tablet. So uh, my one of my Christmas gifts to myself, I guess, is this. It is the Lenovo Tab M8, M8. So this is a little eight inch tablet. So I figured we'll just crack it open since we're talking about everything else. Um, this runs Android natively. I know that you can use um, Amazon Fire tablets, which are a little bit more affordable sometimes. You just have to do some finagling to get those to work. And after tossing around my head and watching videos on how to do it, I was like, Ugh, I still feel like there's too much of a margin of error to, um, to get the Google Play Store loaded onto the Amazon tablet. For me, I just didn't feel confident that I'd be able to do it perfectly. So I found this tablet, um, should have been thinking about this during Black Friday, but I got this tablet um, from Walmart for... $80 I believe it was. Um, so not too bad and I think N Lenovo is a pretty respectable brand. They had a Samsung one that was $20 more and slightly larger but I thought this would be a nice size to have next to me as I'm working on the canvas. I didn't want anything like too big, too much of a monstrosity. And then I also thought this would be good if I decide to do some reading before bed like just to have this little tablet. So I'm going to go ahead and power it up. We still have to obviously get all the all the stuff set up on it and I need to um, purchase Pattern Keeper and then load the cross stitch pattern which I purchased from Cross Stitch Coll Collectibles, XS Collectibles. Um, so I need to load that on here too. So I'm going to set this aside for now. I just wanted to show you this is the one that I ended up selecting for Pattern Keeper. So it's the Lenovo Tab M8. So I'm going to set that off to the side here. Da, da, da. Let that do its thing. And I'll probably do a subsequent video. What do we have in here? Oh, charging cable. Nice. And probably, yeah, just the instruction tablet or the instruction booklet, all that good stuff. So cool. I have a charging cable already that I think will work, so we'll leave all of that in here. Put this back in here. Okay, so as for the actual kit itself, so let's go ahead and get into that. There we go. I've got the dogs outside, so I'm just keeping an eye 
I don't see anyone trying to break out yet. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm still dog sitting at the time of filming this. So I've got Apollo and Bowie out back. So they kind of babysit each other. They tend to stay in the yard. So, um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting open this box. I'm going to do it off camera because my address and all sorts of stuff is all over here. And this is pretty boxed up well. So this is um, a cross stitch conversion that I ordered from Jaded Gem Shop. I decided to get the drills, the blank canvas, everything, the whole shebang from Jade, just kind of one-stop shopped it. I didn't want to have to like source my own drills or source this and that. She has a complete service where she, all you do is email her the, um, the cross-stitch pattern um, or the link to it on whichever website. And she does the, um, all the legwork of, you know, picking the drills for you, getting all of that stuff set up. Um, sometimes I know there's even some DMCs and cross stitch that don't exist in diamond painting or diamond painting drills. So she actually does, she figures out what the next closest one is or what the recommended one is. So, this box is really taped up well. Okay, let's see. Did I get that one? Yes. Did I get this one? Yes, technically. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. There it is, my first cross-stitch canvas. Oh my goodness. Our conversion canvas. Okay, so it is all right there for us. Okay. And I haven't, I haven't said what the image or anything is yet. I'm going to see if there's a legend in here. If not, I'll have to insert a picture of it, but I kind of want to surprise. So look at her canvas for her cross stitch conversions. It's gridded out that one through 10, that 10 by 10 grid. So I think that's going to be extra helpful because I think cross stitch is gridded out in a 10 by 10. So it lets you, it almost kind of sections it off for you, which is really nice. Oh my gosh. So my, my goal was to work on this during Summer with the Masters. So spoilers, it is an old Masters piece. But seeing this makes me want to just get started. <laughs> I have plenty of kits for old for the um for Summer with the Masters, but and I could always do another cross stitch conversion. I just I'm excited. So I just took out the drills. Let's see if there's anything else in here. And I want to show you the size of the canvas as well. Wee! Okay. Jade tape. Jade branded tape. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unroll this. Is this... Oh no, it's just double-sided. So there is no legend, so you have to go purely off of that. I guess why would there be a legend? Because there's no symbols on the canvas. Anthony! Um, this is poured glue. I'm going to go ahead and roll it back on itself. It feels amazing. It's just like Jade's other kits, like her pre-made kits. Um, very nice quality, kind of soft, velvety kind of backing to it. I think Apollo can hear me through the window because he's like looking at the. Oh, never mind. I think that. Oh, yeah, Bowie is there. Okay, so there is our canvas. Whoop. So this is 61.25 by 100. So pretty big kit, but not like extraordinarily big. We're not talking like. 100 by 120, but it is 100 centimeters long, 61.25 high, and the actual title of the, the image is listed here. It's barely off frame, and I'm not going to reveal it yet. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we have a blank gridded out canvas is what we're going to be diamond painting on, and then we have all of our drills here, three bags of drills. This is a square drill canvas, obviously, because we've got a white background. So you don't want to see those poking through. As you can see, our color palette is very much in the browns and the blacks, some greens, but and there's some blues there, some red, but it's a darker image from what, <laughs> what I have here. Okay, and then you also get um, some uh, release paper from Jade, a few sheets of it. So nice. So we have our canvas, we have our drills, we have our tablet that will soon have pattern keeper on it with the kit or the cross stitch pattern uploaded. Are you ready for this? I'm going to give you a little bit of a trigger warning, I guess. Um, not to say that this is that bad, but this is a pretty 
intense, I would say, graphic image. Um, so I want you to be forewarned. Um, if you are squeamish to bloody stuff, gross stuff, then this might be the end of the video for you. Or just wait like 30 seconds and come back because I'm just going to put a pop-up on the screen here in a minute. Um, but I will tell you what the what the title is, all that information, and then we'll end with me showing you the photo. So this is called Medusa or Head of Medusa by Peter Paul Rubens. This is an old master's image from 1618. Uh, Peter Paul Rubens was one of the most influential Baroque artists of that time. He's Flemish. And um, there's another artist, Franz Snyders, that has been... Um, been listed as the painter of the snakes. He was um, in this image. He was very, he's a very realistic um, painter of animals. So uh, Peter Paul Rubens brought him in to do some of the detailing on the snakes to make them lifelike. Essentially what this image is, is the head of Medusa after it's been chopped off um, and her decapitated head is laying on the ground and the snakes are like starting to like try to get away from the head, they're escaping, some of them are attacking each other. I saw this image um, initially just by browsing old Masters kits last year to see what I might want to do as a custom for Summer with the Masters last year, and I was really taken by it. It's a very intense image. It's just got a lot of emotion to it. It's a little disturbing, but in kind of a very, um, I don't know, I just found it very unique and interesting. So I ended up not doing it for a custom, but then I started watching a an artwork series called Perspective uh, from um, on YouTube. And it's this art historian, art critic that goes around and talks about different eras. And he mentioned Paul uh, Peter Paul Rubens and Medusa and just how incredibly um, kind of just lifelike that image was for the time and just like how much history is behind it. And it's just a, it's a loved image by a lot of people that love that style of artwork. And I just thought it was very unique and different and nothing I've ever seen even remotely close to being done as a diamond painting. And I was like, I might as well, I'm gonna give it a shot. I think it's cool. I think it's strange. Um, and I don't mind that kind of intense artwork from 1618 is when this was painted. So, all right, now that I've given you the brief description, I'm gonna put the image up here in three, two, one. It's gonna go right here for about 10 seconds. So this is Head of Medusa or simply Medusa, Peter Paul Rubens, 1618. So, um, yeah, I'll let it fade back out. That's all you have to see of it. I think it's really cool. It's very, it's very intense. I think it's going to work up really um, interestingly. And I just, I don't know, I'm excited. I'm excited to see this white canvas turn into such a, an impactful piece of that time. I think it's gonna be incredible. So I hope that you are okay sticking along with me as I work on this kit. I know that imagery is not everyone's cup of tea and I just have a very eclectic style. I don't I, I don't mind dark artwork. It's not all I purchase. You know, we've done uh, Rainbow Cloud. We've done Saved by the Flamingo. We've done a lot of bright, poppy, rainbowy images recently. Um, so this is, but this is definitely kind of ticking off that old masters, just unique finds um, for me. I, I This is where my kind of my heart and soul is starting to align with is some of these really unique old masters images that you just don't see anywhere else in crafting. So I was shocked to find it as a cross stitch conversion. And once I saw it as a cross stitch or I could do it as a conversion, I was like, let's, let's give it a shot. Let's do it. This is going to be cool. So the more I talk about it, I think I'm going to start working on it. I really wanted to save it for Summer with the Masters, but I, I'm just picturing myself finishing each little section and how rewarding this is going to be. I, I can't wait. I'm so excited. So um, the next video that you'll see from me in this, what we'll call series, um, who knows how long it'll be between these videos, but essentially what I'd like to do is do a video on me uploading pattern keeper and down and uploading the pattern cross stitch pattern onto the tablet and kitting this up and just figuring it out because this is my first time so um, I might go right into that right after filming this I, I'm pretty jazzed about this <sighs> I shouldn't have opened it but 
I'm gonna have to get, I'll do this again someday. Maybe for summer with the masters, I'll do another cross stitch conversion. We'll see how long this takes me, but um, yeah, I might not completely start it right now, but I'm at least gonna do the download, uploading of all the stuff, doing the kitting up and get it ready. And then who knows before I actually part, start putting drills down. Maybe it will be summer with the masters, but ah, I don't know, this is exciting. I'm, I feel a little nervous showing this because I don't want people to be like, ew, Anthony, gross. It, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it is such a impactful old masters. I'm drawn to it because I think it's kind of weird and strange and macabre and grotesque and different. Um, I just wanted to do something different. So <laughs> well, let me know what you think about not only the image, but this kind of setup. And um, I will keep you posted as we progress through this process of my very first cross stitch conversion. I don't know how many colors we have. I, I know none of that stuff. I have to figure that out when I open those. Um, Jade didn't give me anything. I guess I can check the, um, the pattern. The pattern should have the number of colors. So maybe we'll figure all that out once I download Pattern Keeper. But all right, well, um, thanks again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members. Um, those that you feel would take some interest or value out of this content. Otherwise, thanks again and happy placing. Bye, 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 bye. bye.